Good morning, YouTube. This is WackMed19 with another Pro Tips edition. Today we're going to talk about jump shotting and drop shotting. So jump shotting and drop shotting, what are they? Well, jump shotting is where you jump up in the air as you come around a corner or when you see an enemy. And drop shotting is the opposite. You hit the deck. These tools are very effective and there's a couple of different reasons why. I think there's a couple of, of examples in this in particular. Really good gameplay. Uh, good gameplay for me. So enjoy that and watch for them. See if you can identify them and leave them in the notes down below if you are skilled enough for other people to see. So, the theory is that moving the hitboxes, uh, not just the jumping, but the, the hitboxes actually move, and you're moving your hitboxes in an unpredictable pattern. Left and right, that's kind of predictable, but up and down, people aren't as prepared for. The average gamer is not as prepared for. Maybe you've been a victim of this in the past. So, that's what you want to do. Be unpredictable. Be spontaneous and do something that the enemy is not expecting. You will, you'll win more engagements and that is, that's the overall goal. You're going to be halo jumping if you've, if you've heard that expression in one of the lobbies that you've entered into. Uh, halo jumping is actually, you know, in, in halo there's less gravity. You jump much, much higher up into the air and I suppose that may be where the, the jumping, jump shotting came from. So, whatever. In Black Ops 2, halo jumping was popular because the drop shot was a dolphin dive, so to speak, and whenever you dolphin dived, you couldn't shoot, so they would jump around corners. You'd see the pros do this all the time. They'd jump around nearly every corner if they expected someone to be there because of a weird mechanic with a dolphin diving and, and that you couldn't shoot. Uh, even when you slide on your knees, there's a little bit of weirdness to it as far as the aiming goes and other than that it, it's not as bad as the dolphin dive restricting complete re completely restricting your ability to shoot it confuses people uh, you'll see people aim in all kinds of different directions whenever you jump because there's you know their thumbstick goes up and and then they start turning to the side and they overcorrect and and they just do a terrible job of trying to track on you sometimes and that's an advantage whether the hitboxes move as much as you want them to or not just the animation of your character going up into the air or moving to the side is going to throw off your enemy and help you and help you to win more more engagements the negatives for jump shotting are that it takes your thumbs off of the thumbsticks and makes you push buttons now this is negative unless you have a scuff controller and if you have a scuff controller, that's great. I'm glad you spent all that kind of money on it. I don't. I don't have a scuff controller, so it's a little more difficult for me to jump and spin and turn and, and all the things that you have to do to be successful when you jump shot. So, since it takes your thumbs off the thumbsticks, you, you really have to practice this. You have to really get it down. And it's why I don't do it more often, really. Uh, to do this maneuver, to jump shot, you have to... Get a little bit of speed up. You have to do a little bit of jumping. Uh, so to get the speed up that you need, you'll have to sprint maybe three or four steps, I would say, and then jump. And as soon as you hit the button to jump, you're going to want to let go of the jump button, get your thumbs back on the thumbsticks, and get the turn started. That will give you the ability to start aiming. Now, know the layout of the map so that you can expect where you should be aiming at when you come around the corner you would expect someone to either be laying on the ground in the middle of the open or on the edges or in a corner so know in your mind where those are on the map and be prepared to aim at those specific locations to take the enemy out because you will be in full line of sight for them you you have to be able to you have to be able to win your gun battle once you get there because your thumbs out, dude. Get those shots on target, get them there quick, or or you're done whenever you get through jumping around the corner. Drop shotting. Drop shotting infuriates people. When you drop shot, it makes people so angry. You should practice drop shotting every single time you encounter someone and you just listen to the death chat and you'll you can see you win gunfights better 
when you drop shot. Now, drop shotting is more for in the wide open whenever you come around the corner unaware that someone is going to be there. They are also unaware that you're going to come around the corner. And you drop shot in the middle of your stance so that so that you can make them miss, that you can put them off target. Again, with the thumbsticks up in the air, thumbsticks down on the ground. See, there's me drop shotting now. And we're both in the middle of the wide open. What advantage do either of us have for the terrain? None. So I need to move my hitboxes in an unpredictable manner. I'll put them on the ground. Now to drop shot effectively, what you need to do is change your setup to tactical. When you change your setup to tactical, your right thumbstick down becomes your crouch prone instead of having to hit B for crouch and prone. And whenever whenever you do this, it makes your knife B. Well, that means you can't panic knife. That's okay. Because if someone is 10 meters away from you and, and this scenario plays out, then you'll be able to shoot them when you hit the ground. If someone is right on you, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of problems. However, you can use this for any range. You can still shoot them if they're right on top of you. Even if you drop shot, but you can't knife someone who's 10 meters away from you. So change your layout to tactical on your buttons and push down on the thumbstick. And remember, practice. Do this every time you encounter an enemy. If you do, if, if you drop shot every single time you encounter an enemy, then you will get more proficient with doing it. You'll be able to stay on target better because there is a little bit of weirdness whenever you're pushing down on the thumbsticks. And see, I did a little bit of jump shot, try, try for a jump shot action right before that missile was obtained. It, it takes a little bit of practice and it's not for the faint of heart. You're, you're going to have some issues with it. That's why you need to do it with every single gunfight, every single encounter where it would be prudent or safe to do so. Now, th that's really, I was going to rehearse with you how to do this, but it's not very difficult. In essence, you just push down on the thumbstick. Anytime you see anyone, you push down on the thumbstick. If you're running, you're going to have a little bit of weirdness as you slide on your knees. But once you come to a rest on your belly, you'll, you'll be firing bullets on target. Uh, this is better done if you try to stop running just before you drop shot. But whatever, whatever it takes, just get on the ground, get your hitboxes out of the way. There's some huge negatives, huge negatives to drop shotting. And one of those negatives is that it puts your head hitbox, your head, uh, the hitbox for your head in a direct line of sight for anybody who's aiming at your belly button. It's going to put one of their bullets into your head sometimes. Uh, this isn't always true. It's kind of weird as to how it works. Sometimes they, they have to be shooting at you already, and that's most of the time a gunfight that you would lose. And it's also why you need to be practicing this so that you can more often win these gunfights. Now, don't worry about your head getting into the contact or getting in the way. You, you may have already lost this gunfight and not even known it simply because you were unprepared and unaware that you were going to have to... Uh, defend yourself in such a situation the drop shotting will help more often than it will harm and you should do it so jump shot drop shot every time you come around a corner jump every time you see an enemy drop and these two things will help you to live longer that is how you stay alive that is what you should practice hope this helps you stay alive let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next time thanks have a great day you can see that way before the animation has stopped, the number of bullets in the clip that goes into the gun is already back at its maximum, or, or if you, that's assuming that you have enough bullets to put it back at its maximum.